On Monday, November 6th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Columbia University medical experts from Morgan Stanley Children's Hospital of New York Presbyterian will host a webcast discussion on the use of bubble CPAP therapy for newborns with respiratory distress syndrome. CPAP stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. Bubble CPAP is a low-tech, labor-intensive therapy that is performed to prevent chronic lung disease. Chronic lung disease is a serious problem. Um, not only does it prolong hospitalization and make the hospitalization that much more complex, placing the baby at risk for things like uh, nosocomial infections, but, but chronic lung disease is also associated with poor uh, newer developmental outcomes. So avoiding chronic lung disease is a worthwhile goal. Just minutes following the birth, pressurized oxygen is delivered through prongs in the baby's nose. Any infant who is spontaneously breathing, irrespective of his birth weight or his uh, postmenstrual age, he should be given a trial of nasal CPAP. Bubble CPAP provides breathing assistance for babies as opposed to a machine doing the breathing for them. The Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at Morgan Stanley Children's Hospital of New York Presbyterian is a proven leader in this non-invasive technique and has among the lowest incidence of chronic lung disease in the world. It's an expertise that one has to develop. And the expertise not only involves doctors, nurse, but also involves nurses and respiratory therapists. It's a team effort. During the webcast, doctors will also discuss the operational functions of the hospital's CPAP system. We use the like, uh, oxygen blender uh, to control the oxygen concentration for the gas source. Uh, we use uh, immerse the distal tubing to the uh, into the water to control the CPAP pressure, and we connect this uh, CPAP circuit to the patient with the uh, uh, Hudson nasal prong uh, CPAP. Any time during the webcast, viewers can submit questions to the panel via email by clicking the MDirect Access button on their computer screen. You can watch this internet broadcast on Monday, November 6th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, live from Morgan Stanley Children's Hospital of New York Presbyterian.